Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back to another kicking action figure review. Today I have a really cool figure for you guys. I got this guy right when he came out, but I, I've kind of been sitting on him review-wise. It is Kamen Rider Evil Cobra Form from the Rider Kicks Figure Legend Rider series. So, RKF, yeah. I have a couple other RKF figures, and I will be getting more. There are a couple X-Aid ones I want, and some more um, build ones I want. I don't really have my eyes on any of the Geo ones right now. So. Uh, this is Kamen Rider Evil, the main villain of Kamen Rider Build. We didn't get, like, any figures of him during Kamen Rider Build. We didn't get any Evil figures. We got a Bloodstark. But it was a vinyl. We got a vinyl doll Bloodstark, and that was it. And I am happy for that Bloodstark. And, of course, Figure Arts did a Bloodstark. Um... But it was an exclusive, so it's like over a hundred dollars if you want it. And uh, I don't know. So we have Evol here. This is the first real figure of this form. I think that's why they made it. The Legend Rider series is mostly just build and X Aid, but I'm glad they gave us his Cobra form. I would have preferred the Black Hole form probably, but the Cobra form would have been my second choice. So I'm very happy with this. All right, let's take a look at the box. You have a picture of Evil in the back with a picture of the figure up on front. Kamen Rider, Evil, Cobra form. All right, 20 Kamen Rider kicks because it's the 20th Heisei anniversary. Um, approved by Toei, Bandai, legal stuff. And there's a picture of the suit on the side. That is the suit. Picture of the figure on this side. And here's the top Legend Rider series, his eyes. Spin him around. Get more pictures of the figure and stuff there. And then we have uh, some others you can buy. I already have the Zio, Zio Geo here. I don't want the build. Well, I mean, I'd gladly accept it into my collection, but I don't need the build because I have the Bottle Change Rider series version. I do want a Cross Z, but I'd rather have the Magma, so I'll probably get Magma first and then maybe come back for that one. I don't need grease, but this is a nicer grease, and I'll talk about that in my Kamen Rider Grease Bottle Change Rider review. And I do want the, um, I do, I do want this movie form. I don't remember what it's called, so, but I do want it. Is it Rabbit Dragon? I don't know. I do want that movie form, though. Legal stuff again. And that's the box, so let's pop him open. And here he is, out of package, Kamen Rider Evil. Cobra form. This is the first form he took after he got his driver. Uh, so it's his weakest rider form. I mean, there's also Bloodstark and then just him without anything, of course, which are weaker. And I think at one point in the show he said that he was so powerful that his Bloodstark form was really just uh, clothing to him. Like, he was so powerful it didn't even give him a power boost. So I guess Bloodstark really didn't mean anything. <laughs> It just gave him weapons and the ability to transport. But, uh, this is really cool. It would have been, if we had, like, if this was a more high-end collectible, I would have said it would have been nice to have his dragon head, or, like, his cross-Z head, or his build head, you know? Because he had two form changes after this that were just the same thing, but with different heads. Um, and that would have been cooler for a higher-end collectible, but this is... You can, you can get this guy for like 20 bucks, or at least I did. And he is still really good, you know. You could use some more paint on the back. Uh, he really could use some more paint on the back, actually. But he's got like, you know, this is kind of painted up. You know, the arms are painted up on the back. The head is, the shoulder pads are. So they did more paint on the back than I actually expected them to do. And it is a really nice figure. Look at the detail. He's quite well detailed for a figure of this small scale. Because it is a rather small scale, actually. Quite factually. So that's nice. You know, he looks real nice. We uh, we do have his evil driver. The bottles aren't colored. But uh, he does have a little color on it. All I ask is a little color on it in this scale. I wouldn't want it just all red. But he does look really nice. Articulation-wise, we have up and down on the head. Kind of wobble like that. Side to side. Plenty of it. It can't go all the way around because of his collar, but it goes far enough to the side. The shoulder pads move up and down, so that's helpful. Arms come up about this far. They go forward and back. 
bicep swivel, elbow bend, wrist swivel, got lots of torso movement. They cut off, there's no uh, like waist anymore, but that's because they just give it to us in the torso like that now. They also cut the thigh swivel, there's no more thigh swivels on these, but they do kind of swivel way up at the top where the leg connects a bit, so that's okay. And they go forward and back, there is a knee bend, pretty far knee bend actually. And up and down on the foot, ankle pivot, side to side, you know, it's not ball peg, so you know how it works. Very, very cool. I really like it. So now let's take a look at some accessories. So I'm sure you already noticed Eval had two holding hands attached to him, which allow him to hold this. Uh, it's the trans theme gun and sword combined from his Bloodstark form. He just kind of keeps them in this form, which makes sense, I guess. If you have the weapons, might as well use them, right? So, you know, he holds them well. He can point and shoot. Do whatever you want. Pow, pow. I am common Rido. So he's got that going for him. That's pretty cool. And he also comes with these kind of... He's kind of a smug dude. So he often has loose hands like this, waving his hands around like, Oh, common Rido, evil. Oh, you can't beat me because you're humans and you're emotional. Ah, uh, even though you've been emotional the whole show, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> and they're nice, too. Let's pop the hand out and see how easily they plug in. Pretty easy. They stay in just fine. I like it. I like it a lot. Evil! <laughs> oh, check it out. Really nice. Well, it looks like Naughty Cat decided to crash the party, but it's all good. So now we're going to get some size comparisons going. And first up, I want to show him with another rider from his show, a side rider. Uh, and another one that's also from the Rider Kicks Figure Legend Rider series. Common Rider Grease! Blizzard. Very cool. They scale perfectly together, it seems. He never fought Grease while Grease had this form, because Grease only had this form for a very short period of time at the end of the show. So, uh, and he used it against a different enemy. Well, technically, he was fighting some copies Evil made, but he never fought Evil. Let's just end the conversation about that episode there. <laughs> Here's another Rider Kicks figure from the Armor line. This is the line that has the gimmick, where you attach the armor. But the Legend Rider series doesn't have a gimmick. But here's uh, Geo. Zio, however you pronounce it. Oh, kitty moving around. And they scale pretty well together also. Now, yet another rider. We have Common Rider Build, Rabbit Tank, from, from the Bottle Change Rider series. Now, the thing about the Bottle Change Rider series is... It didn't have an evil, so and it didn't even have a blood stark. It really didn't have much in the way of villains. The only villain it had in that line turned hero later in the show, anyways. So they never really made any of the villains, which made me sad. But he's still pretty cool, you know. Too big for evil, but still. And also kind of in this scale, you know, because Bandai America used to make Power Ranger figures in this scale. He's one of the villains whose name I don't remember. <laughs> ah, sorry. But, uh, you know, he looks good with these kind of four-inch Power Ranger figures from Bandai. You know, Hasbro doesn't really make them in this scale, but I'm kind of glad they don't, to be honest. And then I want to compare him with just... Uh, one more figure line. No, it's not SH Figure Arts. It is the Rider Hero Series. Here's a common Rider Gez, or Guys, Ginnam Armor with Evil. And this is the 6-inch Vinyl Doll line, so obviously it's way too big. I'm not going to compare them with Figure Arts, because Figure Arts are going to be the exact same scaling as this. The Bottle Change Riders are the same size as Figure Arts, so that's that. So what are my final thoughts on the Bandai Japan Rider Kicks Figure Legend Rider Series Common Rider Evil Cobra form? I love it, dude. I actually really like it. 
I, I, I really like the Legend Rider series. The Armor Rider series I only have one of, and I wasn't super impressed with it. But the Legend Rider series they put more work into because they don't have to do the gimmick stuff. So I really, really like it. I think it's great, you know? Um, yeah, it's a small scale, but they've kind of been trying to find a new scale for the Common Rider gimmick stuff for a while now, I feel like. Like, they've been going back and forth. I think they just don't want it to be figure art scale anymore, and that's fine. Just try to stay consistent with the scale, Bandai, and I'll I'll be fine, you know? And I hope the Legend Rider series continues on as well, because I would love to see some early Heisei and some Showa Riders in this as well. I would love to see some of the drive forms that we never got in the Tire Kokon line. I would adore that. Give me some Kamen Rider drive figures. I can live without Ghost, though. <laughs> I can live without ghosts. That's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I will be seeing you all later. Blah, 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 bl